welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for us, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the 25th week of the year 2017. And the week begins from the 19th. The week begins from the 19th until the 25th. The 19th until the 25th. Okay. There's a lot of people, a lot of people in your reading. Of course, you're a Taurus, so you know the energy vibration of people coming up in your reading is going to be one of the um, positive aspects, I should say. But yet, still, um, this is extremely good. You have the sun here in your reading, which is wonderful. This week is the week of strengths, it's a fire week. The zodiac energies is the hair and the water. We're ending the zodiac energy of the hair on Tuesday and we're moving on the zodiac energy of the water on a Tuesday and Wednesday. So there is going to be a cross function for a lot of people. Um, this is a good energy for you, Taurus, because you're in a fire week. Fire people support the um support you, um, um earth people, which is extremely wonderful. So for you, Taurus, this is going to be a wonderful week. There is confusion, as if there's people fighting again with each other for whatever reason, and uh, that is when people have lied, and the lie seems to um, come out. You're moving away from something, whatsoever is happening, you're moving away from something, and love is coming into you. So you're moving away from something that is no longer serving you, and love is coming in because uh, you have... Um, a sort of energies as if uh, you're moving from something that no longer serve you a sort of a work a late night situation maybe you're changing your career for some of you Tauruses and you're moving to something that is better for you the energy of the you know this is so strange I, I, I've, I've had this uh, um, it has been coming up and I think because this year has two energy vibration um, that sometimes there's no positive forecast number four and zodiac energy in that week which sometimes it's just so that everything is all over the place and this week that's why the, the week this week is the week of strength and if you realize in a week of strength how things can be ah, and 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 this is what is happening because as i look here the number nine energies uh, number 99 is as if it's a uh, end of something that is going on is the end of something you have come in to the end of something that has been happening in your life number 99 can be a nine and nine and and it's number 99 because uh, the energy is on Saturday it's as if the whole week you have worked through something and you bring it to an end okay so you Taurus is it's a wonderful wonderful week so you know don't be taken back because it's a positive energies for you guys in this week learn to protect yourself whatsoever is happening learn to protect yourself and believe in yourself and trust that things are going to work out okay all right um we're starting off the week with your focus is the six of cups your focus is the six of cups which is a wonderful energy the six of cup energy is here because what is happening is that you're connecting with soul family and and, and and it's wonderful when you're connecting with all these soul family and these people from a lifetimes and lifetime before because what you're doing is that you feel at home with them but yet still you're um clearing certain aspect of certain relationship and emotional aspect okay but whosoever you're connecting with it's the universe bless this person and send this person in your life so it's going to be a week that you're connected back with certain people in your life and this is going to be extremely good because the universe send these people back in your life there's a lot of love in this week there is a six of cups with yes so you have the energy vibration of your wishes and dreams are coming true you have the energy of people sending love to you and really connecting with you on a higher spiritual level the energy of the eye princess is covering um, your week the eye princess is coming in with the energy of wonderful um, new things that is about to enter your life what is so beautiful and I love seeing this card in the reverse form it is the ten of swords in the reverse form on Monday the ten of swords in the reverse form on Monday and it has to do with um, work for some people it has to do with work for some people it has to do with um, 
your father figure a father figure that is in your life it has to to deal with a part of figure which is in your life okay so be aware of this and you need to have understanding of the situation that is happening and this father figure who is in your life you need to be aware of whatsoever is happening that whoever or whoever this person is uh, and whoever this organization it was and that sort of a thing um, the ten of sword is falling out your back because obviously someone had done something and lied and that sort of a thing and this organization uh, now the ten of sword is falling out your back so good things are going to happen for you people who um, if your father is um, um, a, a Aries or a Leo or a Sagittarians and you had a problem with him it's going to be changing now for the people who had situation with their work their boss and that sort of a thing the ten of swords is falling away from you okay this is good on Tuesday not a wonderful day um, the Sun the energy of the Sun is a positive beautiful energy is success the ending of situations and new things are coming in um, for the people um, whatever you're going to do on this day it's a yes whatsoever you're going to do on this day it's a yes for the people who are planning appointments and that sort of a thing connection it's a yes the universal angels and guides um, the energy of mother God is watching over you guys and um, if you're um, if you have uh, your grandmother and grandpa grandmother and great grandmother and whatever your mom that has passed over she's watching over you on this day whatever you're planning do it because it's going to be a yes Wednesday you have the energy of the six of cups which is another sign that you're connecting which is your focus for this week and the six of cups uh, this the universal angels have brought back uh, these situation and these soul connection in your life on Wednesday and it's going to be extremely good because it's blessed door the universal angels as we look on Thursday another fire energy another fire time we have the five of ones and people are fighting together and this is good because whatsoever is happening is that they are fighting because this is as if you are supposed to receive some money and people are having you know people are, are, are not agreeing over the situation but yet still this money is supposed to be given to you and this money is going to come to you because uh, um, the energy of you know it has been taken long is as if this money was was unexpected you you are not or maybe you have given up on this money but people are having conflict whether or not and and some people are not agreeing on it and this sort of a thing so um this is what is going on on thursday on friday you're finally seeing clarity about the situation and you are going to stand up against injustice you're finally seeing clarity about the situation and you're going to find um, stand up against injustice and this is very good it's as if you're not letting this go so whatsoever that has been happening on thursday that people um, money money is supposed to pay it out to you and they don't want to pay it out to you and people are, are, are quarreling and fighting against something and here you see that clarity comes in on Friday and you're going to stand up for your own and go for it and do go for it because there's some people who are very very dishonest and some people who thinks that they can get away with things and this time the earth is changing and this is why you will see that a lot of people are leaving the face of the world because they are dishonest people and within their soul they can't vibrate anymore with the energy vibration of this hurt on Saturday you have the nine of ones so you're spiritually protected and this is this is so positive you're so spiritually protected because what is happening is that you have um, in the first half of the week the ten of swords falling away from you and then the Sun comes out over you and you have the nine of ones which is you're spiritually protected and ready for anything that is supposed to come but yet so you also have the energy of the nine of course emotionally emotionally um, you're spiritually protected also emotionally and this is good as we move on there's a lot of love love you know like on Saturday there's a lot of love coming in and um, on Sunday we have the page of ones the page of ones is um, another conflicting news that will be coming into you um, is it a message or news or people a lot of conflicts it's like you you thought and you go for something and then 
all of a sudden it's not for you and this sort of a thing but conflicting information is going to come into you on Sunday so you know be be aware you know so this week uh, love new beginnings in this week love new beginnings the 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 first half of the week is going to be positive because the ten of Pentacles uh, the ten of sword is falling out of your back against an uh, organization and a work laden night. New things are about to come up, and you're spiritually protected no matter what is happening. The energy of you connecting with people and you connecting with soulmates, not in positive, not in the sense of um, soulmates and twin flames. That sort of a relationship, and these are people that the universe sent in your life. That means. The gods and the goddesses and the spirits um, have sent you two together. Okay, so that is going to be the foremost, foremost of the week. As I said on Thursday, there is going to be conflict with other people. You have nothing to do, but this conflict is all about money. They need to pay you some money. As we move forward and we look at this week in business, it's going to be... Um, a week where there's conflicts but it's with other people because it's as if you're standing back from this conflict and then you're having conflicting information you're hearing conflicting thing but you're standing back from this and it's really a situation where the positivity of certain aspects should come in love is here a lot of love will be coming in a lot of people will be connected with their twin flame and soulmate which is extremely positive and whatever is happening for you Taurus is you're going to see that this week is going to have performed changes for you as I ask Archangel Michael to show us the energy for the Tauruses in the 25th week of June what message Archangel Michael wants to tell you Tauruses go facelift forward I love this it's like yeah you know it's like as if you have all these people that go working against you and then you get this card from Archangel Michael stand up and go face forward and this is what it is saying on Sunday you know whatever is coming in you know on Friday you are going to see the clarity to a situation and then you are going to stand up and said no it's not gonna kill me I'm not gonna back down Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me a financial um, confidence and courage, and guiding my financials and my thoughts and action in the direction of love and my true life purpose. And this is so, so wonderful. So go face the forward, you Tauruses. Go, Tauruses, go. You are going to make it. You're going to be successful, you Tauruses. Okay, so go face it forward. Okay, the next card I have for you guys is from Angel Answers. What? What will be the answer to the question of the Tauruses out there? What will be the answers of the wait? So, whatever is happening to you Tauruses and you wanted to make a move they're saying wait I okay wait and reconsider wait mm -hmm. wait okay you Tauruses got wait to say go face the forward and then wait and this is what I say to you guys I have this too I'm wondering yeah go face the forward but why should I wait? And your situation is, is going to require a little patience. Your angels are not saying no, but they're saying not yet. Sometimes heaven needs a little extra time to make all the pieces fall perfectly into place. What you're asking for may have an effect on the lives of others. When that occur, it can take additional preparation to make sure that everyone needs are seen and soon be met. Be patient so that all who are involved can have the experience they were meant to have. And this, this I understand because they're saying yes. Um, Archangel Michael is saying yeah go face the forward but then the answer what you were asking about something they're saying wait wait a while because sometimes the angel has something much better in store for us 
and uh, we can't see it and all they're saying is that wait a while with whatever you're thinking to do Tuesday is your yes day Wednesday is your yes day so whatsoever is happening wait a little bit look at the thing something better is going to come up that you had never expected I want to say thank you for being here thank you for um, supporting my channel please like share these readings and please make sure that you listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and the month readings and the quarter then the, the third quarter reading this is very important because information is going to come out this is fourth week of June so we have one more week in June to go and I'm saying namaste like, share, thumbs up, and have a wonderful week. <laughs>